Angelina used one third of a bag of soil to fill six flower pots with the same amount of soil. How much did she put in each flower pot? All right, so we start with one third of a bag. So we're starting with only one third of a bag. That's what she has that she carries to the flower pots. One third of a bag. Nadia, can we eliminate any answer choices knowing that she started with one third of a bag? We can eliminate two. Which ones? Two bags. Two bags. If she only started with one third of a bag, she can't put two bags in each one. She can't put two bags in each one. Anything else, Nadia? Um, 18 bags. I can eliminate 18 bags. That's cray cray. That is cray cray. I don't even have to do any math. See, I, I, mm. I don't have to do any math, and I know those two are wrong. <gasps> I see why. I see why. Oh. I see oh, why. Yeah, I do. I see? Is that what you're spelling? I see? I see why. I love ICs. All right, so we're starting with one third of a bag. We're dividing that among the six pots. So, Serena. Already, right? Yeah. Um, since one half is greater than one third, you can eliminate that too, so you're left with oh, one eighteen. Good. We can eliminate one half because if we only start with one third, she couldn't put half a bag in each of the six pots. That's just cray cray. So really, the answer is obvious without having to do a whole lot of math, just a little bit of thinking. And math is. Thinking. No, it's reading is thinking. So is math. We read it. Boom, shakalaka. And if it asks for the equation, this would be our equation. One third divided by six. Unit fraction divided by a whole number. My answer has to be a unit fraction. I think reading is thinking. You know it. I think it rhymes 